All right. I know what it looks like, but I swear I haven't gotten us into too much trouble. Sure, maybe I ended up trying to tackle a terrestrialized Pokemon just in the wild without any prep, and then, you know, completely didn't play with my type advantages and allowed our grass type to go ahead and try to fight some poison, uh, but everything's gonna be okay. Everything's totally going to be okay, you guys. We can totally come back from this. What do you think that potions are for, if not these occasions? All right, there you go, Jade Mint. Hang in there, my dear. Oh, I love the bouquet of flowers on her head. Um, however, what I don't love is how strong poison. <gasps> no, Jade Mint! Oh my gosh. How can Rhydon just stand there and take this? <laughs> He's just kind of like, yeah, this is how it goes. Rhydon! This is like a ridiculously wild adventure! Oh my goodness. Okay, is there anybody who might really be able to, like, handle this? Um, let's see. I mean, we could do it. Boink, do you want to try? But this is like a terrestrialized Pokemon. Oh, sleep powder! Let's see if Bristle can get a sleep powder in. Okay, and you know what? Maybe this is good for the health of our team if Bristle's able to prove that other grass types can also be strong to Jade Mint. So we can remember work as a team! I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, this is totally going to be fine. This is just a field trip side trip after all. A little side quest. I'm sure this is going to work out. We just need to go ahead and forget. Can you earn us enough time that I can go ahead and maybe revive Jade Mint? Who I think might have the best chance at handling this. You know what, friends? At the end of the day... This is just an excellent example of how you want to go ahead and you definitely need to go out in the field to gain some actual practical experience. You, we could think all we want about like, oh, hang in there, hang in there, Baguette! Oh, good job, Baguette! All right, Baguette, I need you to go ahead and we're going to deliver this super potion to Jade Mint. I know you're going to have to really hang in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to make it, but I love the idea that Baguette actually flew into the field. Hang in there, Baguette! and sacrificed herself in order to drop the super potion down onto Jade Mint's shoulders. All right, let's do our best. Okay, we're not terrestrialized, so this is probably going to be pretty difficult. Can we get a good bite in? Okay, that's better than anything else we've been doing. Not poison tail! Oh, it's super effective, but we're getting there. Okay, okay. Do we risk a heal? I'm out of super potions, so let's just try another bite. Then maybe... Oh, no, that wasn't effective at all. Wait! <gasps> it was! Good job, Jade Mint! All right, now maybe we can go ahead and... Can we just capture it? Should I try using a Great Ball on it? I mean, it's the first opponent that actually Jade Mint has had to go ahead and really face off against. I think it taught her some vital lessons in humility in, in working with a team. She learned, in fact, this was good. This was very good because capturing this wild Pokemon that was ridiculously strong, it turns out, uh, not only gained us a lot of LP, which is fantastic because I have no money, but it also taught Jade Mint the value of working with the rest of her team. I'm very proud of Baguette for all this. Ahem. So Dunsparce, the land snake Pokemon, if spotted, it escapes by burrowing with its tail. It can float just slightly using its wings. That's adorable. What is the personality of this little one? Because it's poison paratype, normal type. It knows poison tail, screech flail, and glare. It has the ability to run away, to get away from wild Pokemon. It's gentle and takes plenty of siestas. Oh. I wonder if maybe it was terrestrialized because it got like one of those terror crystals stuck on it somehow. And it was actually really struggling and suffering. And so breaking the terrestrialized gemstones. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> actually, it was hugely helpful for them. That's going to be one of my, my new theories. That sometimes the Pokemon don't want to be terrestrialized, but maybe it gets stuck. Kind of like a snake shedding its scales can sometimes get stuck. All right, well, that was exciting adventures. I love how many of these cute little mountain goats there are all over the place too. Also, all of the free stuff. And there's a Pokemon Center up ahead. Ooh, and a Hyper Potion, jeez Louise. But there's a Pokemon Center up ahead that we'll go ahead and head towards. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. No, that's okay. 
we actually should probably go ahead and um, maybe try. Maybe. Well, Jaden really took a beating, so let's actually. Oh, we can't get away? Come on! <laughs> Marilk, that's not fair! Ah! Jaden! Oh my gosh, I could totally see how maybe her fur was just like plucked at by this very angry. Um, okay, let's actually see if maybe I can get Jim to do something. By this very angry Maroc, who like wanted to pluck off some of her leaves for its nest or just be a, a bit of a brat. And I I can terrestrialize Jim. Really? I've got to see this. Jim, our gemstone lover. Okay, that's amazingly adorable. Um, should I use copycat or no, no, let's try maybe. I want to. I want to see what a terrestrialized sweet kiss looks like. I want to see what a terrestrialized Hathony, who's obsessed with gemstones, looks like when she herself is the gemstone. This is better than anything I could have possibly dreamed of. She is the gemstone. If you could see my jaw, it is legitimately on the ground right now. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. Uh, okay, we can do emotional damage to the other. <laughs> Let's do some emotional damage to this Murak so that he knows like, how dare he? All right, well, I guess, I guess, I don't know what emotional damage counts as, but. Okay, that's that's adorable and it's super effective. All right, I think we actually probably need to like give Jim a little bit of a potion. Uh, Jim, as, as much, not the hyper potion, darling. Here, fresh water. I could see her being a little bit of one of those Pokemon who wants like all the nicest things. So she's like, no, I want the, the hyper potion. She's so amazing. I, I actually love the idea that she wants to go ahead and have all the gemstones so that she can actually add to when she terrestrializes. Think about it, guys. The more gemstones she has, the shinier she can make her gemstone crown when she terrestrializes. Also, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Gem, we're not gonna be able to do this. So, like, we don't have the right kind of Pokemon. Um, like, truly, like, unless you can just sweet kiss your way into making this happen. I think we need to get out of here. All right. And I mean, Murak might hurt itself in confusion, but all right, I'm learning that Jim is actually very proud. I don't think she wants to go anywhere. And I love the idea that maybe the Murak might, tr if the Murak wins, it might steal some of like her, her glittery gemstones. All right, come on. Come on. Come on, Jim. Oh, that's so cute. I mean, come on, if you got pounded in the face, this is not going to work. <laughs> Unless for some reason the Maroc is just blinded by the glitter off of her gemstone crown and just get in the freaking Pokeball. <laughs> Hurt yourself in confusion. You can't steal gems gemstones. Yes! I can't believe they actually did that. Uh, can I catch it now? <laughs> If we catch it, this Maroc and Jim are going to be, what the heck, are going to be like eternal enemies. Please don't, please don't hit her. Gosh darn it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Okay. Yeah. If we end up catching this one, I could completely see Jim just like, no, you can't put them in the same party. They would absolutely be tearing each other apart. This bird. Are you gonna knock yourself out? I don't think Jim's done. Oh no, Astonish. Okay, good, it didn't affect Jim. All right, Jim, you know what? I'm gonna let you try a pound. Oh no, snapped out of confusion, no Jim! <laughs> I'm sorry! All right. You know what? I kind of love the idea that we might have a consequence for when Jim loses battles like that. Um, all right, let's have Bonsley. Loink. Everyone is fainted. I can't believe we took on a Terra Pokemon. And then we fall to a very angry Murak, who we're gonna go ahead 
All right, what's Echoing Voice do? Uh, attacks with an Echoing Voice. If the user's move consecutively any Pokemon, its power is boosted. All right, let's try that. Hang in there, Loink. Oh, he he scream. All right, can we catch it now? <laughs> this this Pokemon is so tough. You are joking. And now Loink is passed out. We're going to get okay. Look, we're gonna we're gonna add a little of that like role play RP to it. I am. Oh, this is not good to have a, a, a like rock type up against a flying. But we're gonna add just a little bit of the the RP to it to say that we got attacked by an entire Maroc flock, and they were pecking us apart, and we were hardly being able to handle this. And the only thing that saved us is the fact that Bonsley is actually a rock. He just got all, those, all that experience by himself. This is ridiculous. The only Pokemon I have left. No, get away from me. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I think, I think I legitimately was able to go ahead and like dive into my bag and like hide under Maridon. Maridon from that flock of Maroc just like rushing us. I cannot believe that. We're gonna say, whoops, no. We're absolutely going to say that we were attacked by this big flock. Okay, thank goodness. But now we're able to chase it away. I would prefer not. Thank you very much. What's over here? Oh, another TM, Icy Wind. Hey, that makes me think about the Eevee we caught like the other day. Huh. So, all right, students. <clears throat> yes, welcome. Welcome back. This is totally normal behavior. No need to think that perhaps your Pokemon Professor Siri is not doing the best at this field trip. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to heal up our Pokemon. And I mean, hey, the good news is at least doing all of that really convinced Jademan that she does want to have a good party. Oh, and what I was going to say about having Jim out and having been terrestrialized. And then let's see, new tips. <gasps> oh, yeah, we might go ahead and we might change our, our icon later. All right, thank you very much, Nurse Joy. Terra Orb is all charged. And uh, because we had Jim out and she is our little gemstone stealer and because we got attacked by that flock of Maroc, I do think we're going to make ourselves like lose one of the stones or the shiny things we got. Hmm, this is when I should definitely have. All right, we have a Dice of Destiny over here. What saith you, Dice of Destiny? The Dice of Destiny says that we should go ahead and we should actually potentially lose the Moonstone. Do I want to lose the Moonstone? No. Well, one, two, because I was thinking the candy kind of looks shiny, so I could see the Maroc stealing that. But I guess we only have two stones. Huh. I don't I don't wanna have to lose the moonstone. But that would really make me be more careful about getting Jim out, and I kind of like the idea that we have consequences for running into wild Pokemon and we run into trouble. Aww, I don't wanna do this, but what oh, wait, I can't <laughs> Okay, can I sell it? I guess the only option we would have to get rid of it would be to sell it. I don't want to. But I think that this sounds like a ridiculously awesome way to carry on our adventures. So we are going to actually lose our Moonstone. Apparently the Floatstone was actually worth more, so good to know. There we go. That sucked, but we're going to put that down in our immersive roleplay that, uh, you know, when we've got Jim with us, we need to be careful because if she goes out and- Oh, and we can probably also call the pearls like some of her stuff too. When she goes out, we need to lose something shiny. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and sell this nugget. Because better to sell that <laughs> than risk losing some of our treasures. In fact, I wonder, should we just lose treasures? Because maybe she likes collecting treasures, but she really loves the gemstones the most. Huh. All right, we're going to give that a good think. And meanwhile, let's buy some more Pokeballs. Because apparently, <laughs> you need to use a freaking ton of them. Here we are. Oh, and then we have some polka dolls, don't we? 
So that would have actually let us go ahead and escape. So we're gonna grab another one, just in case. And then, um, actually, we did, we had some paralyze issues, so I'm gonna grab some paralyzing heals, just to have them on hand. And now I'm starting to get poor again, so we're gonna stop. <laughs> but all right, so once again, we need to carry on our adventures. <gasps> Where are we now? Look at these cute statues! No way, this is so adorable. We need to get Colonel Sun, like Colonel Bumble out. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, okay, come on. I've gotta get a cute picture with this. Like, look at it. Look at it, this is adorable. Okay, gotta back up a little bit, there we go. What kind of like grass type loving city? Oh no, keep my uniform. Have I just like stumble into? This is so cute. All right, let's see. And then, okay, yeah, actually this definitely, this definitely would be me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. All right, well, there's clearly flowers here, so I need to give it a little bit of a once over for our adventures. Do these vending machines work? <gasps> they do! Oh sweet, let's grab some lemonade. Like, let's pay with our LP while we're at it. I'm really glad both things are available. Yay! Okay, that would actually help out with a lot of our Pokemon. Being able to give them a nice lemonade for refreshment. And then, yeah, same stuff. Okay. Wow, this is so cute! Look at the cute little bread shop! Is there anything, like, tasty and yummy we could grab in here? Oh, let's get more lettuce. And then there's some onions. So I'm gonna grab some of those too. One of these days, it would be really wonderful to be able to go ahead and get ourselves um, some like proper recipes because I'm pretty suspicious that there are actually recipes we could snag. All right, let's get some ketchup for some LP. Oh, I could definitely do so many shopping trips. <gasps> Ooh, okay, let's get some jam and then I'll get out of here. I promise. It's just so exciting to be able to like set up a little picnic for my Pokemon. Of course, I'm going to be distracted by that. All right, but we need to be distracted by more adventures. <gasps> Hello, the air, so crisp. Hello, my dear. Oh, that's so fun. I'm just like talking to her Pokemon. Yeah, her Pokemon is the one who wants to talk to me. That's adorable. All right, so it looks like there's a gem over there. I think we could go ahead and battle that. <gasps> Look, it's another one. Do your thing, wind. So apparently, yeah, there's like a cute, a very cute little windmill here. And then there's people walking around. Do I know you? Okay, is that a graffiti artist? Pardon? Okay, what? What is going on with this? Is this a playground? <gasps> Oh my gosh. This is, what is this? The Harvest, a work by Rassius. Oh my goodness, is this just a little playground for like little kids to adventure on? Could I let my Pokemon play on this? That's so cool. Wow. See, this is what I'm like trying to do Operation Field Trip Eevee has led us to. Is this another Harvest? Yeah, so who's Brassius and why do we have... Can I go in there? No. Oh, and I can't ride Mariadon in town. In this town? Wait a second, I could ride Mariadon around in the big town. Oh, and now we can ride him over here. What an interesting twist to our adventures. Oh, this is so cool. Those look like vertebrae though. Like the vertebrae of a very large Pokemon. Look at this walkway. What the heck? I can't believe we just are kind of like zipping through on these adventures right now because we need to like head out and work our way towards our Eevee. But I love that that's kind of like the encouragement we currently have for going on our big adventures. Let's see, fling. The user flings its held item at a target. So this is it. I came to see this famous piece. I can't say I really get it, but I like it. Huh. It looks like a trumpet flower. All right, this is, this is, 
this is really amusing me, but ahem. I know, even though we could definitely get ourselves quite distracted by enjoying this new town, my friends, we will have to trust that we will be back because this little new town called Artisan, that's adorable, uh, does not happen to be next to the place that we are headed, which actually is a lot further away than I thought. But the Eevee field trip must continue, so we're going to carry on and continue to head towards our destination. I don't know how we're going to get there, but I'm going to give it my absolute best try. Uh, can I just go? Oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Uh. Brandon? Should I potentially reconsider this phase of our adventures? Maybe I shouldn't try to, like. Wee! Okay. Maybe I shouldn't try to leap off this cliff into the distant horizons. But maybe I should. We have a field trip to go on after all. <laughs> so, alright guys, um, I'm gonna totally make some very responsible, like, decisions in the situation of health and, and safety standards. And, uh, we're gonna possibly be leaping off cliffs and continuing on with our unexpected Eevee adventures next time. So if you guys would like to join us, you know what to do. But until then, friends, stay curious! Oh my gosh, can we really do this? Holy- nope. <laughs> Wait, where are we going now? <laughs> um... Back up, kid. You can't casually waltz in here like you're one of the stars that run the joint. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. Jaw on the ground. Apparently I just tried to walk right into, like, a boss area. I'm gonna figure out how to make these adventures happen. <laughs> oh, stay curious, my friends. Bye bye!